Hello everyone and welcome to the Tiny Tech Home with me, Ben Davies from the Smart Homey Group. Now, it's been a while, uh, I must admit, since I've been on here. However, we have been installing lots of smart homes in the meantime, so hopefully we can kind of pass that information and, and that skill set over to you guys. So, this week we are talking sensors, something super important when it comes to smart homes. And specifically this week, we are looking at the Faradite PIR sensors, these little puppies here. So, sounds boring, but I'm going to prove you wrong. Faradite was formed in 2017 by Chris Turner, a robotics and electronics graduate from Woking, England. He set out to fix a problem that had been apparent in the industry for years. How do we make a compact and powerful sensor that all platforms can use and the motion sensor 360s were born now you're going to tell me that a sensor is just a sensor well you're wrong not all pirs are made equal the biggest problem in the industry before faraday came into the picture was there were lots of sensors specific to each brand of control and lighting system all were good but it meant you were forced to sometimes go with an ugly option to a client, which is a big problem in a luxury industry where we should be installing stealthy home automation. So Faraday set out to make the smallest PIR on the market to work in synergy with all control systems. Better than this, they worked hard to show you exactly how to do this in their literature and how-to videos. They have multiple options for their sensors, all are vault free, However, you can choose to have a zero to 10 volt feedback on lux levels. You can have IP67 for outdoor use and even add a fire hood to, eat, to meet UK regulations. So let's take a look at these mini masters of their trade. Okay, here is our array of sensors from Faradite. So on the left hand side, we have the volt free unit powered by five to 35 volt. And then obviously volt free on the outside to your home automation system. This is in black or white. White can be paintable. The reason why they did it in black was very much for the CI community for cinemas, um, outside spaces, that kind of thing. Then we have the same version as IP67. As you can see with this, obviously we've got a rubber grommet at the top of it and access to the internal part is all enclosed off. And this is all kind of sealed from this side. So once you bring that through into the connector block, seal it back up, screw it back down, and then it's kind of ready for an IP67 environment like outside or bathrooms. Finally, we've got the zero to 7 volt uh, version on this side, um, slightly different, powered slightly differently, and obviously gives you feedback on both the looks level of the light input into the sensor and motion as well as that. So it gives two kind of communications back to your home automation system. Super useful for um, environments where you want triggers to be specifically done, whether it's dark, whether it's light, that kind of thing. Finally, we have the fire hood, which can fit on all of these devices and um, makes it UK compliant. So there we go. Couple of nice features about these sensors. The actual connector block itself, which is here, that can be pulled out, he says. There we go. And then let's just get that up into shot if we can. So as you can see, we have um, a round hole at the bottom, which is for your cable entry. And we've got a square hole at the top, which is a, for a small slotted screwdriver, square screwdriver, to allow the cable to be pulled out. So this is a push to make um, connection that you'll be doing into this. Really useful. You know, if you're on site, you can get these all made up into the ceiling, let the paint and decorator do his thing, and then come back down afterwards and then put the, ce um, put the actual PIRs up into a fresh, you know, clean ceiling, which is not gonna get dusty or marked. Um, just let me bring in the other one if I can, get it into shot. Um, so yeah, that push into cable, obviously solid core cable, super useful for this. Doesn't have to be this Cat6. 
it can be a solid core um, kind of paired cable or belden cable as well uh, just slightly harder to actually get into the actual unit itself but yeah once all done and dusted it's just a case of pushing it back into the unit and then popping that up into the ceiling as you can see from the size of my hand not big hands but very very small sensor um, looks great when it's on the ceiling and very discreet and that's basically its job love to hear your thoughts on these faraday sensors this is a product that we here at smart homey personally install so we're happy to take questions on them just leave a comment below i will post some links to their website and sensor guides which are useful to any installer's knowledge their team are always happy to chat and if it goes beyond our skill level, skill level just reach out to them Thank you to Chris and the rest of the Faraday crew for sending out the whole sensor portfolio for us to test and we'll see you in the near future for some more home technology reviews and tests. As always, please like our videos and subscribe to our channel if you are into professional smart home tech and I'll see you next time. Signing out.